Hello. Uh, so today I'll be talking about a couple of questions that you might be asked during an interview, uh, an, a, a platform interview, uh, you know, let's say you're working on the infra and one of the uh, application is Kubernetes. Uh, so some of the questions that might be asked regarding Kubernetes node, right? Uh, I mean, everyone knows what the node is. So as an interviewer, I'm going to ask you things like, uh, right, what are the components of a node? Right, you know, node is made up of like different components. So you give me those components, right? You know, we're talking about the code left, the code proxy, right? Now, now what I want, I'll then go deeper and then ask you like, you know, my own question, like, you know, question like uh, a node is not reporting availability or resource usage. It's not giving feedback or metrics or uh, else check back to the API server. So, right, so what are, what component of the node do you look into, right? And the answer to that is very simple, the kubelet, right? You check out the kubelet, right? The kubelet actually captures the metric for the node, right? And reports that for the, uh, for the API server to use in uh, making decision. So kubelet is going to be the right answer for that. Now, one other thing that I'm asking, like, you know, if you look at API, uh, rules that is being generated by Kube proxy and the node, right? What does the kube sec mean? So let's say we have um, we have a deployment. That deployment we have a service on top of that deployment. Now the service is going to be implemented, right, in the API tables, right, as a uh, IP table rules, of course. Now in one of those IP table rules, they're going to some like you know kube sec. You know, for those that have played with uh, IP table rules before. What does that kubesec mean? It simply means each of those, it represents each of those backend port that the service is routing to. That's what it. I wish I could like, you know, give you an example of a cube, you know, an IP table uh, rule, and you can see it, but kubesec is one of those things. Right. Now, uh, the question, now the next question is like the kubelet itself, you know, how does it run the container, right? right. It's run the container by interfacing Right with the uh, with the runtime. Right, let's say your runtime is uh, is container D, and so how does it talk to that your con the container D itself? Use what called run C to run the container. Now, but the container D I implemented is an interface, right? Called the uh, the OCI, right? Uh, OCI so that Kubelet can talk to it. So basically, Kubelet use the OCI right calls to you know to talk to to talk and take actions on container of which the container itself on the background calls the run c the popular run c for actually running the starting and stopping of containers right based on the instruction of uh, the kubelet now the next question is why is docker not supported for container runtime why is docker not supported right now for container runtime, for those that are following Kubernetes, Docker is going to be removed from the runtime. Now, why is it not, uh, why is it being removed? The problem is that at the beginning, Docker was the, you know, the container runtime that was being used, but in order to support other runtime, they moved away from the Docker, right? So they moved away from Docker as a standard. So one of the standard of Docker was converted into, um, was converted into the OCI, OCI like, you know, uh, specification. And that specification means that anybody that wants to interface as a runtime, right, to, to the kubelet needs to implement. Now, Docker, there's something called Docker chain because Docker itself, you know, the OCI implementation is kind of weird. Now, since everyone is expected to conform to OPI, uh, OCI, uh, maintaining Docker in the in the in one of the tree is not a necessity, right? So Docker, there's this thing called Docker chain or that is being maintained in order to interface with Docker. But you know, um, the uh, the group in charge of uh, this particular part of Kubernetes are saying, you know, we don't want to continue maintaining Docker uh, chain just to talk to Docker. So we are just going to expect that your runtime conform with the OCI and 
we are if it does then we are going to run it now the next question was the point of the oci spec the point of the oci spec all right the oci spec is just a, a specification of you know the container manifest right you know what the container should look like in order to be run by someone that conforms with that spec so it's just a way for you know contains information about an image stuff like that Right, so that you know anybody that picks it up can run it. So it's more like a standard of what your image should look like, so that anyone that picks it up can easily run it. Now they say, explain what uh, what happened. Next question: Explain what happens when a node tries to join the control plane. Right? You know, basically my understanding is very simple. When a node tries to join the control uh, control plane, what it does is that it um it simply looks like a config file that contains um, all the authentication resource that it needs to talk to the API server. If it's not able to find it, it's going to try to like, you know, generate like a certificate itself, right? So it's going to make a CSR request, right? Using a, uh, a token, a bootstrap token, make a CSR request, you know, container sign request to the, uh, to the API server and the API server will sign it, you know, since it's coming from the kubelet, Certain, certain part of the API server can automatically sign it, or you can sign it yourself, right? You can sign it CSR. So that means that, you know, uh, the, um, the CSR is going to be responding with a new certificate that the kubelet can now use to talk to the, you know, the API server, right? So those are like some of the questions that you will see when you're interacting with, um, uh, as an interviewer, uh, talking of asking about Kubernetes node. These are examples of questions I would like to like, you know, ask you right, to tell me more about so that to really probe your understanding of the underlying platform, right? So that's it for now. And I'm going to uh, see you next time.